Abuse comes in many forms. Child abuse is especially horrific, but help, as we learn time and time again, can come from unexpected places. I'm gonna let you stand by yourself. That's Teresa and her seven-year-old granddaughter. I love you. I'm excited to see what things come for her, what her future holds. There are a lot of people trying to make sure her future is nothing like her past. If this second grader had a normal childhood, we'd be able to tell you her name and show you her beautiful face, but she didn't, so we can't. She was totally afraid of everyone and everything. Teresa's daughter lives with her boyfriend in California. The couple couldn't pay the bills. Then they had a baby girl, this baby girl. And we just thought, well, they're just struggling. What Teresa didn't know at the time. They were using drugs. Four years ago, Teresa's daughter called her mom to ask for money to pay for the hotel room where she, her boyfriend, and their then three-year-old daughter lived. Something just told me something was very wrong, and I just started driving, and I went to pick her up, and I found him living in hotel to hotel, and they were all filthy. Got home, and I figured out she couldn't talk. She had massive ear infections in both ears. Speech therapist helped. She learned to talk. But with that new gift came new revelations. I don't understand how a father could molest his daughter and how a grandfather could do it. And my daughter sat and watched. How? I don't get it. I can't. I can't get it. I'll never get it. To have a little girl tell you, why did they do that to me? Why can't I be a happy family? Why can't my mom and dad be normal? It's really hard. It's really hard to hear that. And I don't really have any answers, except I'm sorry. Whatever I need to do, I'm going to do to help these kids. Midgey helps. So does Ogre and Nobody and Echo and Shadow and Hope. Do not ever want to see a child have to live in fear and not be able to be a child. That's what brought me. Those names? Road names. It's for our protection as well as the children. They all have road names as well. So this is Pony Girl. <laughs> the bikers don't know her real name, her whole story. They don't have to. All they know is she needs their help. We're not counselors. We're not role models. We're bikers. We just have to care about these kids. They're bikers against child abuse, or BACA. Emotionally, physically, sexually. Abuse comes in many different forms. Any kind of abuse, we, we want to make sure that they don't have to go through that anymore. It's a little overwhelming when you see 40 motorcycles roll up. You can hear them before you can see them. They round the corner, and Pony Girl waves, knowing all this is for her. Hello. We are bikers, and that's the reason it does work. A small child sees a bunch of, you know, big, ugly, tatted up, you know, people in leather. A lot of times they'll look at that and say that, you know, whoever hurt me or whatever hurt me is not any tougher than these guys. My family is a lot bigger and badder than anybody else out there. So, and that's what gives them that empowerment, and that's what takes away that fear. They're all volunteers. BACA members go through extensive background checks and training. They adopt abuse victims into their big, bad, unbreakable biker band of brothers and sisters. They're a family. Maybe they can't sleep. They're afraid that somebody that's hurt them is out there again. We pay them a visit. We go to court with them so that when they are in court and testifying against their perpetrator, they're looking at their family and they feel safe. We show up. That kid needs us, we are there. Who are we? Baca! What do we do? The children! That's right. Baca has brought light and love back into her life. It gave her a cut, a bear. I think I wanted to name him Baca. Yeah? You want to name him Baca? Baca bear. The way they do everything is so symbolic. How they came and how they hugged the teddy bear. They each put their love in that teddy bear. Unending love, so so if they were ever scared, they've got something to be, you know, nervous about. They've always got that bear to hold on to. Here you go. I love <laughs> Strength, empowerment, and she says it all the time, I will not live in fear, and we pray for our brothers and sisters. They've given her that empowerment to not be afraid and to speak up for herself and to tell the truth. Oh, I'm so happy. 
it just absolutely does my heart good. It gives me a reason to ride, you know, a reason, something to ride for. And I love it. It gives me purpose. Bach has made a huge difference. They've brought joy back into her life. And she now knows she carries that black leather-bound love even when she walks alone. If you know an abuse victim who needs help or to learn more about Bikers Against Child Abuse, visit our website, fox5vegas.com.